Thanks for warmest welcome. Seems like there are a lot of people I know, or if I haven't known you before, I'm very happy to, uh, to see you here in Tallinn in this fantastic building. And I have to say it's totally new when, uh, when we realized that this will be reconstructed to be the Estonian Art Academy. Many people were skeptical, but I think it's a wonderful environment, a wonderful place to be, a wonderfully creative atmosphere. And this is something which um, I would like to enlarge and apply to all Estonia, and particularly also to Tallinn Music Week. Uh, um, 30 years ago, maybe many people were quite skeptical about what Estonia will be in 30 years' time. And now we know what it is. It's the creative hub of Europe. It's an innovation-driven society, and um, we have our capital of Tallinn and our um, university down Tartu, and all these other towns, smaller towns, they have one great objective. They want to be so welcoming that people want to come and be there, spend time, study, stay uh, longer, longer. Because we lack people here in Estonia. We badly lack people here in Estonia. We are one million people and the country is the size of Netherlands. Can you imagine? I mean, therefore, you're all very welcome. To set up also your um, creative new companies, to use our e-residency offer, which I think is just perfect for an independent creative um, person, younger or elder, who has, um, who has uh, great ideas, great skills, can find markets globally, but maybe wants to concentrate on the European market, because after all, a company created by an e-resident here in Estonia, this is a European company. And um, I think we all here value very much being European. Do we? Yeah. Great. Great. So our flexible uh, legal space and our uh, digital offer to you all allows you to be European, even in the case when you happen to be from the third countries or even from the UK. <laughs> to all our British friends, we know that the number of e-residents from UK has been ticking up constantly and, uh, and you can find uh, uh, a sure and safe foothold for your activities, for your businesses here in Estonia. Frankly speaking, you don't physically even have to move here. Even, as I said, there is enough space, so please come. <laughs> I think Estonia now is a country which gets it better than any other country. The 21st century is very much different in how we work and how we uh, also serve our people if we are politicians. It used to be more or less the industrial way. It was this way. We all graduated from universities, then we uh, went to work. We worked in one company, and then we went to home in the evening. And then according to where we worked, our taxes were paid, and then according to where we went home in the evening, our services came to us, health care, education, everything. I mean, this is so 20th century, isn't it? Does, does any of you plan to work this way for 30 years? Go to work 9 o'clock no. and 5 o'clock? No. Good. And you know, I think we shouldn't make you. But the problem, of course, is that for that to be possible, we as politicians have to accept that the tax river from big companies where people gather every morning and park huge parking places full of cars, very boring thing, that this tax river is going to dry up. It's not going to be there. We, as politicians, to make sure that you still can get your services from our governments, we need to fly from flower to flower and find where our taxes are. In Estonia, we want to be the safe dock for those people who live globally, work globally, study globally. We want to make sure that here is the safe dock where you, if you are a taxpayer, can come for services. Do you want this offer from us? Yeah. Good. Our taxes are not low, but, well, after all, we are able to follow you around the world, make sure you can still vote, make sure you can still participate, make sure you can communicate with other people. You can reapply for your driver's license from the other end of the world. Is there any other country like that? No. I have a plan. 
I, will, I hope it will materialize, but uh, somewhere at the beginning of the next year, I will try to demonstrate to the whole world how easy it is to run a country from the other end of the world for a couple of weeks. <laughs> And this is the way how we want people who are connected to Estonia to be in the future. We want to be the safe dock for people who will not lose contact with our service offer because they are at the other end of the world. If our politicians get this, I'm quite sure that um, sooner than any other country, we will be able to offer you this 21st century of living quicker than anybody else. Of course, we are not yet there. We have to work a lot, but um, for that, we, know we need a few things to continue this path. And we need creative freedom, we need digital freedom, we need free thinking, we need seamless global society. Is it, well, trivial what I'm saying? No, exactly. I think 25 years ago, I would have said it's trivial. In Europe, you should never think about the freedoms. They are there. They're just there, always there, granted. Nowadays, I'm not so sure. And I think it's perfectly understandable that we crowd are very hopeful about 21st century, but there are a lot of people who are actually stuck in the intergenerational poverty because the offer of politicians has not been egalitarian enough, and I'm right-leaning politician, just somebody who thinks I might be a social democrat, I'm Lena Bean. But to guarantee good schools to everybody, easy access to universities to everybody, easy access to healthcare and social services, and the most important of these things is egalitarian school system. If you are linked to Estonia for a longer term, this is something which we guarantee you. We've always here had an egalitarian school system. 200 years ago, when we created first schools for kids to go further than four or five classes, which they could go at the, close to the churches, these schools accepted girls. There's never been a question, should girls go to school? I mean, egalitarian society is deep-rooted here in Estonia. And I think this is very important in 21st century because we need to make sure that our freedoms do survive. And for our freedoms to survive, we need to know that everybody in a society has a chance. It doesn't matter what was my choice in this life. Maybe I choose to be unemployed and live in a rural area, maybe go berry picking and sell them in the autumn and make living like that. But my kid has to have a chance to become a doctor or investment banker. This is the credo of Estonians, very much important for us. But for that, to survive 21st century, every day, all together, we must stand up for our freedoms. And the best way to stand up for our freedoms is to say, hiding yourself away from the global world is never a solution. If you're afraid of this world, come out. I will show you how wonderful place our world is. I'll take you with me, and we'll go this together. I know you have much more creativity than I do. And I'm not really able to find the right way, the right words and uh, the right deeds to make sure that we are able to move quickly within our freedoms towards the direction which we want. But you have it. You're here in Tallinn. Help us. Helen is great in uh, thinking of uh, creative city spaces. And I'm quite sure that without her work, Tallinn would not look like it nowadays looks. And something which I never thought when we regained our independence was that it um, doesn't have to be gleaming. The office spaces do not absolutely have to be gleaming. The best real estate development here in Kalamaya, it looks pretty forlorn because it's an old factory and it's owned reno renovated, I mean, so much that it's made habitable. But it's full of startup vibe, full of startup vibe. And I think this is what matters. People, those people who are inside these buildings, these towns, comfortable, free, secure. Because without freedom, there is no creativity. So be with us. 
stay with us and use what this country can offer to you. Work with us and uh, smile to everybody. Thank you.